um, so my methods really changed as I um, became more interested in criminology. So initially I had a, a straight history background and history bed sheet. Um, that was my training. And then once I went to Griffith Uni six years ago, I was a member of a criminology department. And in that criminology department, I talked to criminologists, to sociologists, to um, legal scholars, to uh, psychologists, um, and they really opened I open kind of my mind intellectually to some different possibilities of the data, particularly comparisons between past and present, which is one of the main things um, that I do. But in terms of the literal method, I do both quantitative and qualitative um, historical criminology. So I look at big scale data. So um, a, a new study on the history of violence that we're looking at in Australia, and the um, premise of that study is that we're going to look at 10,000 violent offences and classify them at the individual case level. Um, so what that means is that um, for each one of those 10,000 cases, we're going to look at all the available materials um, on that case. So we might look at police gazette materials that have um, information on offenders, um, some information on victims. They often have information on the amount of time spent in prison, um, a whole range of other um, data, data kind of level um, information. We look at Supreme Court materials, we look at newspapers in particular to get the, at the social circumstances of crimes and the things that we're looking at, for example, sex of um, gender of victim and offender, um, age, uh, uh, like ethnic status, indigenous status. Um, we're also looking to, to classify um, types of crimes. So for example, family violence or alcohol fueled violence um, would be some classifications and with that data we're applying social science methods where I've got a team of researchers that are all classifying this data and discussing, um, they're classifying it in the same way and then discussing amongst themselves problems in classification and the idea is that you create replicable data that would be classified that same way by anyone doing that and consistent data over um, those 10,000 cases. So that particular method is using historical data but applying a social science research method um, onto it.